It's Grow TV, where we grow together and learn about God. There's reindeer antlers, sleigh bells, sleigh bells, angel on the tree, and rock around the tree, rock around the tree, rock around the tree, rock around the tree. There's reindeer antlers, reindeer antlers, sleigh bells, sleigh bells. Oh, hi, friends, and welcome to Grow TV. I'm Stacy. There's this really cool new Christmas dance video on YouTube that I'm trying to learn. I could sure use a friend to do this with. Hey Stacy, what's up? Hey, you came at the perfect time. I'm learning this Christmas YouTube dance and I need a friend to help. Okay, sure thing. I do the first few moves by myself, then you come in. So, it's Reindeer antlers, reindeer antlers, sleigh bells, sleigh bells, angel on the tree, then you come in and you go rock around the Christmas tree. Got it? I think so. Great. Let's try it. Okay, reindeer antlers, reindeer antlers, sleigh bells, sleigh bells, angel on the rock tree. Around the, rock around the tree, no, 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 no. and I'll rock around the tree, and I'll rock around the tree. No, 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 all right? What? It, it's too early, oh, you know? No. So five, six, seven, eight. It's reindeer antlers, reindeer antlers, sleigh bells, sleigh bells. Rock around the tree. Hey, rock around the tree. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. What? Just a little too early. Our timing is a little off. Oh. Let's try again. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Reindeer antlers, reindeer antlers, sleigh bells, sleigh bells. Rock around the tree. Hey, rock around the tree. Hey, rock around the tree. No, no, no. You know what? Yep, yep. That didn't feel right. It didn't feel right. Maybe I should just come in. Just take a break. I guess I didn't think about how important timing is in making a good YouTube video. Yeah. You know, usually my timing is pretty good. Not sure it was off today. Timing is always important, like in baking a cake. You need to leave the dough in for the perfect amount of time. Too little, runny cake. Too much, burnt cake. And you know the difference between a good joke and a bad joke? Timing. We can also see how timing was important in the stories from the Bible. Really? What do you mean? Luke chapter one is a story about God's timing. It was a perfect time for Jesus to be born. A long time ago, God promised a savior that would make the world right and help us all be forgiven. No one expected God to send Jesus the savior to earth as a baby, but the angel Gabriel told a woman named Mary, this was exactly what God wanted to do. Mary would be the one to have Jesus as the baby. It is a pretty wild plan to do at any time. I mean, the savior of the whole world and as a baby? Right, but let's back up a bit because even before Mary got good news, Gabriel got another unexpected baby to announce. Zachariah and Elizabeth followed God faithfully. They were both very old now and didn't have any children. One day, Zechariah was working in the temple and the angel Gabriel appeared to him. He was scared, but the angel told him in Luke 1.13, do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayers have been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son and you are to call him John. Not to mess up this awesome story, but wouldn't it have been better timing if they had a baby when, you know, they were younger? That's kind of what Zechariah thought. In fact, he didn't believe the news. Because of this, Gabriel said Zachariah would not be able to talk until his baby was born. Whoa, how was Zachariah gonna tell them the baby should be named John if he couldn't speak? Well, just as God planned, Elizabeth became pregnant. When the baby was born, it says about Zachariah in Luke 1, 63 and 64, he asked for a writing tablet. And to everyone's astonishment, he wrote, his name is John. Immediately his mouth was open and his tongue set free and he began to speak, 
praising God. Okay, now that is the perfect timing. John brought great joy to Zachariah and Elizabeth's story and to all our stories. We might think about Zachariah and Elizabeth having a baby when they were very old as bad timing, but it wasn't. Because not too long after John was born, Jesus was born. And when he grew up, John would be the one to prepare the world for Jesus. The timing was perfect. God sent Jesus at the perfect time. You know what? I think I'm ready to try that YouTube video again. You want to? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Reindeer antlers, reindeer antlers, sleigh bells, sleigh bells, angel on the tree, and rock around the tree. Hey, rock around the tree. Hey, rock around, rock around, rock around the tree. Hey. Sometimes timing can make no sense to us. Like, why did I have to wait until middle school to get braces? I didn't like that at all. I didn't smile for three years. I asked my mom, why couldn't I have gotten them when I was younger? She told me that we had to wait until all my baby teeth fell out. Otherwise, the braces wouldn't have worked. Yeah, something felt like the imperfect time, but it turned out to be the perfect time. God knows what's up. And the story of Christmas, even the details of John being born before Jesus reminds us that God has a plan and that plans always happen at the perfect time. Yep, it's hard to wait for stuff, but we can learn to be patient and trust God when we look at how God sent Jesus at the perfect time. Right. It's been fun dancing and learning Bible stuff with you today. It's always fun to learn and grow together. See you next time. Bye.